right. Good morning. Let's see uh, how long our YouTube uh, notifies everybody. Here, it's going to open our chat window. Probably going to take a while because I, I didn't pre-announce this. Yeah, I'm the only one here. <laughs> I'm the first person on my own stream. Wait. Oh, there's there's some peoples have shown up. Oh, look at the chat happening here. I'm half asleep here. It's so cold. All right, hello, Michael, Virginia, Donna, Quacking Goose. Oh, my eyes have gotten blurry all of a sudden. Hang on. late night I was actually down to the barn last night at uh, I think it was 1155 doing water I watched a movie I've, I've been on this binge of old uh, classics well not old but you know like 2002 and I can tell you one thing man they make, they don't make movies like that anymore times have changed <laughs> um, as far as uh, that type of movie uh, quality is concerned Anyways, she uh, she's a cold, cold day. Plus, right now we've got a big snowstorm happening, which I can't believe it's snowing. Usually, it doesn't. I shouldn't say I can't believe it, but normally when it's this cold, uh, it don't snow. And they're calling for fifteen to twenty-five centimeters of snow by tonight. Okay, no, that's tonight. Whoa, okay, so 15 centimeters, 15 to 20 centimeters to last night. No, yes, this way. No, no, okay, I'm, I got the, I'm half asleep, sorry, folks. Okay, it's five, five to 15 centimeters of snow today, and then tonight, 15 to 25 centimeters. And extreme cold, frostbite, you can die in outside weather is what they're saying oh the wind chill value is minus 35 to minus 40 is what the uh the uh, the internet of things says uh, on wind chill right now yeah i'll just post the link so you can read uh what i'm reading hang on i'm having to oh man when you're, when you're half asleep like this i shouldn't have turned the stream on i gotta i gotta cook bacon is what i have to do Right, so there's their weather warning uh, that's taking place here right now. But I just want to, yeah, it's we got a double uh, a double um, um, red bar doubles. You know things are serious. Oh no, no cancel. I almost ended the stream. Okay, hang on. There you go. You know things are serious when they give you the double red bar. Okay. Hey, look at that. Eh? Let me just uh, can I zoom in? Yeah, I can. There you go. That's what it's like outside right now. But tonight, it's supposed to be even colder. Even colder tonight. Just love it. And then the, the title of the video is what's, what's what it is all. That's what it's ending. Wednesday morning. Oh, boys. The wind is so bad today, folks, that the whole day is going to be minus 30 outside wind chill. I'm just looking. Feels like between 30 and 33 below all day outside. We got this is what you call winter. The real thing. This is it. I hate balaclavas. I do. I have other things I can wear that work similar. I'm not big into knit on my head. I have knitted balaclavas. They just don't. I don't. They, they're not that warm. I got a I got a fleece balaclava too, but I don't know what it is. I'd rather have a neck warmer on and my heavy duty hat because I don't know what it is. I just I I like balaclavas when I used to snow machine, and I used to wear them underneath my helmet. I think that would be it. As a child, I didn't like them too much. Now it's against law to wear a balaclava. It's you're not allowed to cover your face up unless you're a Muslim. I'll be right back.
I should rephrase that. Muslim woman. But then you can wear about the, the niqab or, or what do they call that thing? Anyways, the thing that covers your face up. That you, you, know, you, see, you meet them in the store and you're like, okay, who is it? <laughs> Are you here to rob the store? Or buy something. The dogs. Yeah. Doug, see, there's a little surprise for him. We got some mail today. Huh? Well, I didn't get it today. I got it this week. And Doug knows. <laughs> hey, Doug. He's gonna. He's gonna. He wants the. He wants the mail opened up. I have my knife to open the mail. Oh. Dog. Oh, you. Do you want to go outside, or do you want mail time? Hmm. I don't think you want outside because it's not that. Uh, you're being out of this, out of the picture here this morning, dog. Hey. Okay. Oh. Yeah. See, he wants the box. Okay, Doug. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's this? Okay. This is the box for Doug. Well, it does say something on the other side. No, it looks like all dog stuff. Okay, so this came from. Uh, regardless, of the address is okay. So back to me here. Doug already appeared in a second. Um. This is from the mysterious person in the UK that keeps sending me things and dug things, uh, but puts no identification whatsoever on it of uh, who they are. All I know is it, it, it says on it, uh, United Kingdom, uh, where is it here? Yeah, Great Britain, mail declaration. That's the only clue in the postage. So. I'll give you some trivia. Here's some trivia. Did you know that uh, that Great Britain is the only country in the world that doesn't have to put their country name on their stamps? Does anybody know why? Okay. Every other country in the world has to put their name on their stamps, except Great Britain. That's the question of the morning. I know the answer. I'm just wondering if anybody here knows the answer. Okay, I gotta get some cereals cut in here. I'm so half asleep. This package is like so taped up. Okay, I got it. That's amazing they can do it. Okay, very good. I did not know that. Because they are Great Britain. <laughs> That's not an answer. Um, but you, we can, you, I'm just waiting. Anybody here? Do we have anybody that uh, knows international postal uh, uh, history? Hmm? Anybody? Doug. Okay, why, why is Doug so out of the picture? You know, Doug, you gotta get behind me. We have a question going here. We're waiting for answers. Over here, Doug. Come on. Over here. See, here, here. Doug. Put this. Hey, Doug. Treats. Hey. Anybody know? Does, does, do, you, do you just want me to tell you the answer? Oh, Doug, that hurts me. That was your big, sharp claws. Do, they, do you just want the answer to this morning's trivia on stamps? I'll wait until I... Okay, Doug, you keep telling me. Okay, so this is from Great Britain. The only country in the world that doesn't have to put their country name on their stamps. It's a very easy answer. Google doesn't know. Matt knows. I'm going to tell you. Because they invented the stamp. They, uh, they're they the uh, the mother of the postal system. That's why. Okay. So, what do we got? Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Peanuts. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, the, the Thai sweet chili one. Mmm, they're good. Oh, Doug. Oh, look at this thing. 
<laughs> Doug, look at this. Hey, oh, Doug. Yes, Doug. It's a special treat. Hey, thank God, Doug. You're a lucky thing. Ooh, I'm lucky too. Okay, look at this, Doug. Oh, wide wow, treat. Okay. Oh, we got this. What's this? Ooh. Okay, what are these? Something tells me they're knee pads. Elbow pads? Extra large. It's not a knee pad, it's a brace of some sort, folks. We have a different glasses on read there's a little tag. It's not a, a knee pad because the, the padding is on the sides of them. It's like some kind of brace. Well, that's really amazing. They're made in Hamburg. When was the last time you saw something made in Germany? Hey. Yeah. They're not even made in China. Okay, that breaks the theme of the show. It, it, I'm thinking it's got to be. It's got to be. But why would I get. Why would. Yeah, it's got to be elbow pad. But why? Why? Or an elbow brace. A little tight, I can tell you that much. Oh, man. It's like, oh, that's really tight. But I don't understand. But the, the padding is on the side here, folks. Like, it's got to be a brace of some sort. But I don't want it. They're too small for me. They're extra large, too. I can't get them on, on my arm. I can barely get them on my leg, eh? But what are they for? Like, that's some... How, okay, so this person usually sends me things months after we talk about it on the show. So does anybody remember um, me talking about elbow braces in the last couple months? No, there's no way it's for a foot. Too big. Oh. You're thinking I got an ankle brace. You think it's ankle braces? Because it's like the it's got this padding on the side here. But the problem is they're thick enough that I wouldn't be able to get boots on. I'm getting harassed here by a dog. They, um, there's some kind of uh, very thick brace material. There, I'll switch glasses. Like, I don't know if I can show you how thick this is. You can see. Like, there's that. It's serious, thick, folks. Like, I wouldn't be able to put boots on if they're for ankles. For the life of me, I, I, I'm gonna have to Google this brand. That's all I do. I'll Google the brand and I'll figure it out. I don't know what they're for. I'm, I'm, like I said, this person's usually they're a month behind or two months behind when I need something. Because remember when I needed, we we're talking about face masks, about doing something, and then the face mask showed up a couple months later. Same with the microphone for the GoPro. They're like a, they're they're like, they're a little bit behind because I guess the postal delay. Okay, more treats for Doug. Look at this, Doug, you got way too much of this stuff. 
Oh, Dougie. You know, from this dog, and the thing is, the cupboard is still full of, do of uh, dog treats, right? Okay, that's it. Nothing, else, nothing in that box left. Um, there's still... Um, Doug's got more treats you can shake a stick at, folks. Because the only time Doug gets treats is uh, in the mornings when I'm on the camera. Right? This is the only time, eh, Doug? We don't give, we don't do treats here. Well, he does do treats, but I just you know I don't know, I just give him the whole thing at once. But not dog treats like this stuff. See, this is like candy. This is what this is. This is dog candy, is what this is. But these are two big value packs, right? <laughs> I actually I had to move some food to make room for dog treats the other day. That's how many dog treats I have here. I'm pushing my food out of the way to accommodate the dog. But I'm glad these peanuts showed up. Okay, I'm glad these showed up because well, one, I'm not planning to leave the property. Okay, I'm I'm staying here. I'm not doing anything. I'm, even though I really would love to go to town to get some beer, because that's what I'm feeling like. But. <clears throat> I'm not leaving the property. It's too, too, uh, it's winter, really winter. Even though the, the car is in the garage warm and it's not even frozen, like it just started to leave, I don't even want to leave. Not till Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. You're going to be like cabin fever by Wednesday. Poor ducks, eh? Locked up like this. Okay, so that was one box, okay? I'm so glad. Do you know, okay, I'm gonna, here's another question. We've already done the postal trivia question here this morning. Let's do another question. Um, why is it so important that these showed up today in, in the box? Why is it that I'm so happy about this one single pack of peanuts? Okay. Does anybody have an idea why I'm so excited about one single pack of peanuts? Okay, I'm going to wait. These, I got I to gotta, uh, 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 wait for an answer on this one. Susie, it is a full-blown storm. I cannot, I, you know, I shouldn't say, like I said this earlier, I, I cannot believe I shouldn't say that. But uh, uh, to be this cold and snowing, no, nah, doesn't, uh, doesn't usually happen. Not macadamia, not snow. That isn't a reason why I'm so glad these showed up. These are Thai sweet chili coated peanuts. They're very good peanuts. They're very good peanuts, actually. I can eat these for, for breakfast. They're very good peanuts. Trust me, trust me. I love peanuts, though. I'm a peanut kind of guy. I love peanuts, man. I'm so You know my package of peanuts from Australia? Canada Customs sent it back to Australia. They were, uh, they were, they were mailed, Deb mailed them the 1st of November, and it was, she sent it by surface mail, but made no sense. It, it landed in uh, Vancouver seven days later. And then because you sent a service mail, I said, oh, I won't be here by Christmas. That it might be, might not, who knows. But then it depends. We usually Christmas, you know, like I said before, I've explained service mail is the best time to use it is at Christmas time because that's one of the containers that they should be already filled up the fastest get shipped out. But anyway, um, so my, 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 my uh, hypothesis theory, theory on postal uh, information I've shared with you here, uh, it turned out they arrived on like the 9th of November. The package arrived in Vancouver at the ship port. Uh, they went to customs and then sat in customs for a month. And then mysteriously on December, I think it was the 15th, it reappeared in Australia. And uh, so we just found out last week that from the tracking that it's still sitting in Australia somewhere. They don't know where it is. But uh, Canada Customs returned it. And the lady uh, on the customer service at Canada Post who couldn't speak English um, told me in, in broken up customer service language, you know that language, uh, that broken up customer service language, that uh, you can't mail peanuts because people will die. <laughs> I'm kidding you, that's what she said. Meanwhile, I just opened a box with peanuts. That said right on the other side of it, peanuts, anyway. Um, so my 25 package uh, box, 25 little packages of those uh, peanuts from Australia, all got returned back to Australia. Okay, so does anybody, we're still, nobody has a clue, right? Why I'm so happy about this one single pack of peanuts today. And I'm really excited about it because these are really, nobody knows why. I'm gonna tell you, okay? Which it comes to the next box. 
Okay. Like I said, I got these this week. I picked up these boxes. Okay. Uh, oh, I did my address. You probably saw it. No, don't mail me no more. Don't mail me more peanuts. Okay. So I already got into it. Okay. <laughs> because when I saw the custom declaration, what was in it, I was like, okay, I gotta open it. So there were packs of peanuts that I've already eaten. <laughs> And I was craving peanuts last night. And I was like, oh no, I got no more peanuts. And I was craving peanuts so much. Oh, I was like, oh, I would love some peanuts. So, but this one has some really good, uh, uh, it had wasabi. Okay, these were really good. They, uh, uh, it was hard to eat the whole bag in one whack because it sort of burnt a little bit. But they were really, really good. So, these ones, these ones were mid-afternoon snack. They were, they're just a regular chili. They're really good too. And then these are the ones I just opened, the sweet Thai chili one. These are these are really good. I forgot when I opened. I ate these. And then uh, these ones, though, they were they were. Uh, I don't know. I thought I was going to be excited about eating them, but I, they didn't. Uh, I don't know what it was. They uh, they they you could tell they were deep fried and they were really crunchy and I don't know. They were all right, but it, 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 they were like the spice was too strong on them that you couldn't taste the peanut. And it wasn't a hot spice either. With there was just some kind of spice. I don't know what it was, but that was the only one. But they're already gone. And there was another one. There was another bag, which I don't understand where it went because I saved all the bags. A barbecue, a barbecue bag. So there. That's from our mystery mystery person in the UK who doesn't need to have their country name on their stamps. Okay. Okay, Doug. So that's why I'm so happy. I have another bag of peanuts. Right? Oh. And I, and I don't know what these are for, folks. I gotta Google it. It's uh, the brand. It's gotta be Elbow Brace. It's gotta be. Well, maybe it is ankle. Well, it fits the ankle, but my God, it's, uh, they're huge. You wouldn't be able to get your boot on. Like, Doug, get into the boxes. Yeah, they're ankle, they're for ankles. They got a brace thingy right there. But you, like, I don't know where I can wear them. But like I said, they, you can't even get your boots on. The dog, eh? Look at this, eh? Right, you know, boots. Yeah, that's what they're for. They're for ankles. Get them off. Oh, boys. Probably they fit better on my skin. Or uh, without socks. So they're a, they're a, like a heavy duty made in Germany ankle brace. Like if I hurt myself and I couldn't put boots on it, they would be perfect. I can't believe how thick they are. I wish I could show you how thick they were. Actually, there you go. Like that's how thick they are right there. That piece there, like it's got a they're a serious size. You can tell they're not made in China though. You can just by the feel of them. Wear them around the house just for fun, but I don't have anything wrong with me. I'm all right right now. I got a package of peanuts. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So we have, we have another box. There's another box here this morning. All right. Okay. The next box is. From Inga. Is Inga has Inga appeared this morning? She should appear. It's Sunday. It's like uh, what time is it? Yeah, it's like noon, one o'clock. For Inga, she'll be mad she missed this. Her parcel finally showed up. Something heavy. Let's open it. Let's open it. 
The tape is unbelievable in some of these parcels I'm getting later here. It's like, there's, uh, I cut it actually in the right place. That's, I need a new blade before I hurt myself. Oh, oh, oh my god! Treats! Oh, there's Inga! I'm opening your parcel right now, Inga! Okay, hey, look at this. Jeez! Oh, I need, you know what? <laughs> this is bad, okay? It's good that I got cheese, but it's bad because you know what I discovered I don't have in the house? Crackers. I have no crackers. The uh, when I last week there when we got the uh, when I got the the uh, the the, the uh, uh, fish roll fish eggs in a tube um, I went to have some and uh, opened up my cupboard and there was the box of crackers I put my hand in the box and there wasn't anything in it so I got no crackers. I got, so I I can't get crackers till Wednesday because I'm not going to town till Wednesday. So that means I can't even have the cheese. I'm gonna bet you this would be so good. I'm thinking it's what what is it? Inga is it is it Gouda? What is it? What kind of there's not a name on it anywhere. What kind of cheese is it? Inga's not going anywhere till Wednesday, or just you don't have any crackers either. Oh, she's blowing the store outside. Oh, oh, I love Gouda. Oh man, that means I gotta go to town to get crackers. I gotta, I gotta do that. I'm looking outside though, you wouldn't believe the storm. I'm looking out the window here, folks. Full blown real storm. Bad, bad storm. I could drive in the bad weather though to get a box of crackers because I, I've got fish eggs and I've got Gouda cheese from the Netherlands. I'm surprised this got through customs because they took my peanuts away from me. But then again, people don't die from cheese. They only die from peanuts according to customs. Can't, are you going to get a Oh, look at this. More nuts. Look at that. So you know what? I'm thinking I gotta go to town for two things. I gotta go to town to get some beer and I gotta go to town to get some crackers because I got two packages of nuts now. Nut mix, smoke flavored. Look at that, hey, oh, look at this. They got, there's, it looks like there's uh, hazelnuts, walnuts, filberts. Oh boys, this is so cool. Oh, that's a treat, that's a serious treat. Oh, wow, more cheese. Oh, Inga. Is it all Gouda? Because there's no names on this stuff. Oh, mustard cheese. It must be Gouda mustard. Look at that. Well, folks, I gotta go to town. I gotta go risk my life to get crackers. Oh, my God. This is cheese overload today. This is awesome. Cheese. Walnut. Look at this. Oh my god. What's this one? This one looks like Swiss cheese. What more Gouda? Inga went Gouda shopping. Now? I got, oh man, this is so awesome. I love cheese so much. Hey, Doug, I know, eh? <laughs> the dog said, Doug really loves cheese. I won't share this cheese with him, though. This is not dog shareable cheese. It's not. Oh my god. Oh, what's this? This is serious treats. Some kind of waffle. Oh, 
Well, it looks like something I can have with coffee. Hang on. Except that we need a pair of pliers to get into it. Man, it's so cold outside, folks. I, I just felt a, a flash of like cold air radiating across the kitchen. No doubt, these are mine. Oh man, what are these? Doug, no! I don't know what inside of them. They're like um, they're like a, a, a waffle type cookie, and it's got. I don't know what the filling is. Sugar syrup? Okay. It's a perfect coffee. Oh, man. I could see you getting really um, sick. Eating a whole pack of these, though, you can tell they're sweet. The dog, eh? <laughs> is it honey? Whatever it is, it's sweet. Dog's working closer, if you notice that. Eh? <laughs> he's just like he's like, give me some give me some of this hmm you have no etiquette none he's a pushy dog eh They go perfect with coffee. Oh, I got I got I could almost not oh, I need crackers over this cheese. I'm looking at that folks, I don't know. And it's supposed to get worse. Do I wanna go on the road? And I don't have to? Yeah. Hang on, bear with me here. I gotta show you. I gotta show you here. Can you see the storm? Here. Yeah. I'm gonna switch the camera around here. Hang on, bear with me. It, it, can't, it doesn't really show through the window that how bad it is out there. She's blowing pretty good. I need more coffee. We have more stuff to open in this pocket. Look at the cheese, my God. I need crackers. Almost can't see across the lake. But the storm's supposed to get worse today. I just can't believe that it's snowing and it's 20, 22 below outside and a crazy wind chill. Doug, I gotta get another treat for Doug. All right, All right hang on, Doug. Hang on, hang on. Bear with me. Oh, they're on top of that. Hang on, hang on. Doug, okay, don't be getting in my way. That dog is so pushy, folks. He's, uh, I'm trying to get the package in the, into the pantry, and he's pushing against me. You just have no manners, don't you? None, none, hey? Absolutely no manners at all. Okay, so there's more here. Okay, let me, look at this cheese, folks. Oh, gosh, this is...
Ingog. I love cheese so much. I love it so much. Look at this. But you gotta pace yourself because if you eat too much of this, you'll, you won't crap. You'll be bunged up. Oh, God. I need crackers. I now have two. Is this your mug? Did you send me the mug? But I don't have one that's a white. The one I have is the black inside one. Is this your mug, Inga? Did you send me your mug? Because how did you get a, a, like a new one? Because they took them all off the site. Oh, you had two. Okay. All right. Makes some sense. Now I've got two myself. But mine, I, the other one I have, like I said, it's this style of mug. But now this is a smaller one. Thank you very much, Doug. We got another mug, okay? Yep. All right. Now we got the. There's a Christmas present. It's wrapped. There's something with wrapping paper on it. Hang on, this is Inga Streets this morning. Okay. I just want to make sure this is not for Doug. It might be for Doug, actually. No, there's no name on it. It's just, it's just something in, in Dutch. Don't know. Festendagen? Right. I don't know what Festendagen is. Doug, can you relax? Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> oh, okay. Take Doug. It's not a treat. It's, no, it's not a treat. Doug. Okay. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Look at it. It's got a windmill on it, too. Hmm? This is a Netherlands duck. Hey? Right? It's a Dutch duck. <laughs> is that cute? Hey? Right? What do you think, folks? Hmm? I like the windmill. It's a duck with a windmill, but it's a Dutch duck. So, that awesome? Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Now, you got to wonder when they're made. I wonder where it's made. If it's actually made in, in, in the Netherlands or was it made in China? Yeah, let's see. Because I'm just curious. When they were sitting there in the, uh, the souvenir design department, well, let's get let's get a duck with a bunch of stuff from the Netherlands on it. There'll be a big demand for it. Oh, it looks like it's made in Holland. It's got a Holland sticker on it. It doesn't say the word China anywhere. It's actually made there. Inga, did you know that? Yep, it's actually made in Holland, folks. Unbelievable. So they're sitting in a hall and they're going, we got to come up with like tourist things for people. And what, what would go over big? A duck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because everybody in Holland is looking for a Dutch duck. Right? Right. I have just the place for this with my other ones in my hallway. My little duck figurine uh, uh, shelf. With my giraffes. I have giraffes too. Don't have any penguins. Right. Okay. 
Okay, folks, I don't believe this. I, it was warm when I came down here this morning. The kitchen was really warm, but now I'm feeling like some real cold air blowing from somewhere, which I, it, there's no leaks, so I don't know where the hell it's coming from. It's got to be the wind chill has picked up outside. It's radiating off the windows. Okay, I got a Christmas card. Well, it's not really. Well, it could be a Christmas card. There's a little bird in the snow. It is a Christmas card. Hope you have a great Christmas and a Happy New Year. And no more curveballs. Yeah, I know. I have curveballs. Whatever I am. It's a season's greeting. Gender neutral Christmas card. Right? There's no Santa or nothing on it. So you can't offend anybody. The little bird doesn't look too warm though, eh? He's looking like he's a little bit cold. Sort of like today. Well, Inga, thank you so much. I, I, I think I might have to go to town. Uh to um, get crackers. I don't want to go to town, though. No. I really, honestly, I don't want to go. I don't want to leave. It's, um, it's not nice outside. Yeah, I gotta have another one of these. These things. Even though I can actually feel it in uh, my teeth. The, the sweetness, these things, they're crazy sweet inside. But it doesn't, like, it's not really sweet when you're eating it. It doesn't feel that sweet, but you can feel the sweetness afterwards. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta make sure I don't do too much. Look at the dog. Eh? See, he thinks they're a dog treat. No dog guy. I've already given you a bunch. Here, I'll give, we'll give you another chunk of jerky. Alright, we gotta okay, make myself some scones or flashbread. What for? Why do I need to make scones or flashbread, Susie? I don't understand. Steve thinks we shouldn't go to the hospital. What? Steve who Steve's got a problem with the hospital or spending money. I don't know. I'm just catching up with the chat here, folks. Do I have bread for the cheese? Well, I don't have crackers, and I don't eat bread, so. I have these right now. You know? And they're really good with coffee. I'm nuts. Yeah, say some some beer would be really good with them. No, I can't go. I'm not going to town. The snow's coming down harder now. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Make some myself some scones or muffins and whatever to eat with the cheese. Why would I hurt the... Who's this Steve? We're getting trolled by some Steve guy this morning. Doug, I gotta get a big stick and beat you. Hmm? Hmm? Actually, I uh, watched a bad video last night on uh, Facebook. I uh, follow this uh, animal rescue um, person in South America. Man, they got some bad things happen to dogs down there. The level of barbaric is unbelievable. I don't know if I could I could I don't know if I could control myself. Like if I ever stumbled across something like that. I don't know if I could. I think I'd end up in prison on murder charges. I think I would. I I, I honestly it's like it's so sick that um, the level of rage that hits me when I see the video. Um my first thought is murder. <laughs> That's my first thought. <laughs> it's like, 
uh, that's all I can think about is that I, I, I got to kill this person to save the dog. That's the first thought. So if I was there, it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good at all, actually. And the poor dog, man. It was so sad. I, I don't understand. What, what is with it, people, that are so stupid that they video doing these barbaric acts and then post it on social media? You know, you got to wonder. It's got a, a special kind of sick individual to do that. You know? It's like... It's, it's, I can't even get my head around it. I can't even figure that out. But then again, you know, I'm such a big animal lover that um, I can't even fathom that kind of thought, you know. But I know when that kind of thickness, thickness, that kind of sickness really needs to be put down. Humanity doesn't need that kind of stuff. Right, Doug? There's no reason. It's just, it all, folks, it's bad. I, I was going to share it on my Facebook because I follow them and I no, I don't let anybody know that I'm following it. It's something I do on my own private. But I was gonna share it to my Facebook because it was so bad, but it was like so bad, it was so hard to watch. It was like, why? Why are you doing this? Like now that turns out after researching it a little bit more, <laughs> the guy got caught. And he lives in a part of the country that everybody knew him really fast. They, just, they, they figured out who he was like really quick. And, um, and based on what I know about South America, uh, I'm thinking we're gonna see a video of him dead somewhere soon. <laughs> it's like, because they have a, you know, like that, that person in Mexico there a couple weeks ago. Do you remember that uh, he was stabbing dogs and then they found him dead with 50 stab wounds in his body? You know, there's there's something about uh, 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 there's something about you know third world countries when it comes to justice. They don't wait for the law to take their hands. You know, just take care of it. I shouldn't watch them because it really bothers me, but it also keeps me completely aware of how bad the world is. And then I never let my guard down. Because it's also not good to go through life, you know, ignorant to this. Because then you allow it to go to happen. What's the saying? What's that saying? If good men allow, what is that? What's that saying? If good men allow it to happen, or evil can only exist if good men allow. I don't know. There's a saying out there that you know, evil can only be happening if good men do nothing. Something like that. I don't need to be reminded, reminded, but sometimes it's good to be reminded, just so you can really like get your head around how bad the world is. Stop abusing your dog and let them. What? Steve's trolling us this morning. I'm getting trolled. This is, uh, I'm gonna ruin my breakfast. I'm possibly gonna have a third one. The storm's picking up pace here too, Susie. I looked on the radar and it's a pretty big chunk of snow coming down because it looks everything from my place to past Montreal. Here, Doug. Like, it's crumbs, I know, but. There. When I go on the radar, it's like big giant green from basically from Susie's house to my house of solid, um, that's how hot it is. Real winter, full blown winter. Oh yeah, like it's huge. I'll show you, folks. It's a good sized snowstorm. It's it's what the states is getting. Because the states is getting look at three. That's a big patch, right? 
And there, Susie is somewhere. Where there? Susie is over here. I'm over here. Yeah, you know, that's a that's a pretty big patch of, of snow coming out. But they say the whole North States is getting pounded by 100 inches of snow or something, or 50 inches, some crazy like that. Those things are really sweet. And got, like, my God, they're like deceiving when you're eating them. It, like, they're not really sweet when you're eating them. It's the afterwards. It's like, it's a real, it, it's a real, really, really, really strong uh, sweet afterwards. I gotta close the back. Because I'm thinking that, um, Oh, this is like a regret afterwards if I eat too many. They'd probably be good while I'm watching TV at night. Cheese. I gotta figure out about the tr cr cr cracker situation. Mm, the dog's looking at me. More treats. Serious sugar though. Like you can really, really taste it in your mouth. They're good anytime. <laughs> it sounds like that's that's the way they went down at your house, Vista. They were like good anytime, watching the TV at night. Like I said, I this, during this extreme cold we've had here, I've been doing some classic movie watching. If I put them on top of my coffee for a while, oh, so soften them up from the heat. Oh, Steve Henry just got deleted. What did Steve Henry find? Why did you delete him? What did he say? Did I miss something? Stop, disrespectful, shame on you. How come Steve got nailed? Did he say something? Did I miss something? This way, I gotta change the chat here. We just got that stupid top chat thing came up. Steve did something, did he cross the line, folks? Abusing my dog, but I wasn't abusing the dog. You guys are a little too uh, hammer happy there on uh, Steve. Steve was just being an idiot. There's, uh, that happens. He's gone now, I can't even undo it. When you refresh the screen, Steve got off. I can't even save Steve right now. I'm on my, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't even save Steve anymore. All I got is Steve Henry's being hidden. And I have no uh, way to undo him. You guys were too heavy on a, on a hammer. He didn't do anything. I can't even fix that. Oh. Oh, you can put him back? Yeah, put him back. Give him another chance. He hasn't done anything yet. Give him some more rope, folks. Give him rope. Rope. I always like someone when they can hang themselves real good. You know what I mean? He's just trying to get us worked up here. He's an idiot. You know, come on and talk about me killing the dog and beating the dog and, you know, anything like that. Anybody that I just, you know, they're retarded actually coming down with. He'll, uh, he'll do something. Give him enough rope and then he'll do it. Well. Yes, that's exactly what I want him to do, Virginia. I want him to hang himself. That's the rule here. Give them always give them enough rope so they can hang themselves. I'm not murdering them. Even though I would have liked to murder that guy in the video, the, what he did to the dog. Oh, folks, what he did to the dog, it was unbelievable. It was so bad. I, I think I'm going to share it on Facebook just so you guys can get like an idea how twisted this. Just sick, sick, sick. Per, oh, it was just, I was so much rage when I was watching it. So much rage. It was unbelievable. I just couldn't believe it. I'm like, poor dog. My heart broke for the poor little thing. Like, it's just, oh, I can't even, like, you, the, the, the screams of the dog, it haunted me all night. It actually ruined my night because the dog was screaming the way, it was just like, I knew the poor little dog was suffering bad, bad. It was bad. And the ending of it was even worse. <sighs> There's just too many sick people in the world allowed to live. That's the problem. 
please don't. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it. I think I will. You don't have to look at it if you don't want to. But if you want to get mad at you know somebody and wish that they were dead, you watch it. Trust me. You'll wish you like the guy's just... Unbelievable. Anyways. Well, Sarah, I don't understand why they, they, they videotape themselves doing it. Like, why do you, why don't you make a video of yourself doing that? Like, you're going to wonder. Like, well, I wonder, you know. I have these questions. Why people are this so wrong upstairs? You know. Steve Laptek. Vinga. I mean, uh, Vista. See? Steve has not come back since you allowed him to come back. He, he took his rope and went home. Call the police on them. They're in South America. They, the guy got taken care of real quick. Oh, Inga, don't get me started on the uh, the dogs and cats and animals outside in this part of the world during this extreme kind of weather. It's like, my God, the people are just so, so... It's unbelievable how stupid people are. Like, they think, oh, he's got a fur coat. Like, I just, you just want to, like, you just want to take their whole family and throw them outside and let the dog in the house and lock them outside. You know, the whole family, everyone. Because there, anybody who lives in that house, that the animals outside is guilty of neglect. Because anybody in the house could open the door and let the dog in. Or the cat, you know. So, like, when I see that kind of stuff, I don't care. Kids, everybody needs to be locked outside and, and, and tortured in the same way they're torturing the dog. Because, you know, the kid could go open the door and let the dog in. You know what I mean? Like, but they don't. Farmers, you know, uh, leaving the cattle out in this kind of weather. And the law is, eh, the law is so, like, I, I actually had a run-in in a situation like actually it was this type of situation it was extreme cold and there was a herd of cattle and they were left outside and uh, I got I got a hold of the SPCA and um, I found out that the agriculture laws as far as livestock are concerned if an animal has a windbreak then it's all right and I'm saying it was in the middle of the field and the, the, the officer said yes but there was get this there was a knoll in the field, it's high ground. And the high ground, the law would consider as a windbreak for the cattle that were sitting in the field in 30 below. Like, I was just like, there's no way. Like, in the middle of the field, and because there's a little bit of a, a knoll in the field, that's classed as high ground, and that's a windbreak, according to the law. And the SPCA officer couldn't charge the farmer. It was like, that stuff sends me over the edge. But it's, you know, it's like the summertime, you know, and then people, you know, they, they, they leave their dogs in, you know, in the cars, in parking lots with no air conditioning running in, and, and, you know, and it's 30 degrees, 35 degrees Celsius, and, and the car's just getting cooked, and the dog's dead in the back, you know, it's like, you just gotta, like, what is the, the human race, I'm telling you, I, 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 I question the human race a lot. There's like the gene pool is seriously, uh, seriously corrupted as far as IQ is concerned, and if you know what I mean, well, I I don't know if they don't care. I I think it's ignorance. I think it's ignorance because you know they take care of the animals, they feed them, and all that kind of stuff, and then they do these things to them. I think it's total, and it's. It's, it, it's really low IQ. Like, I would love these... Like, you know, I bet you, I bet you these animal uh, abuse, neglect uh, situations, the IQ level of the owner is ridiculously low. Like, you know, below 90 type stuff. You know what I mean? Like, the IQ... They, that's the thing. It's the, it's the IQ. They can't fathom, you know, that there's something wrong. If you follow me, you like... Because if you're stupid enough, you'll have no empathy. 
you know, because you just don't know any different. It's like you're standing there, duh. You know what I mean? Like, you ever notice that? Like, they're really, really, really stupid people. Just, they can't fathom that something's wrong. You know? And the sad part is, it's like 50% of the population is that stupid. That's the word, that's the word. And they, and they vote, and they breathe. It's a war, folks. It's a war of common sense, is what it is. Or it's a war on common sense. That could be it, too. Why so many ducks? I raised ducks for charity. They're Eric, Eric French. That's why I have ducks. Oh. All my all my duck eggs go to charity, and if, if we were lucky enough to have ducks, we send them off to the homeless shelter, not to live at the homeless shelter, but to feed the people at the homeless shelter. So, and right now we're all locked up in a barn because everything's so cold. But it's much warmer in the barn and the uh, the goose shed now that I've got the doors shut completely, no air getting in. Because uh, it's that cold out. It's that cold out. Like I was shocked yesterday that the uh, the barn only got to minus three. That with the doors shut and the lights on, I had left the lights on on all day yesterday, and the temperature only got to minus three. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The barn and the shed are insulated too. This stuff, and you were you were incorrect last night in chat. That didn't happen last year. It happened the year before. That was 2017 that we did that upgrade and fixed the buildings for the ducks. You were, you were a year off last night. So. I'm having good luck with the water buckets this year, not having to have them heated. Well, the secret is, if you're taking care of the water every 12 hours, then uh, uh, they don't uh, um, uh, need any heating. So. Because it's not that cold. Like it, takes, it takes a while when, uh, when uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, well water, which is probably you know 10, 12 degrees Celsius, and then it got to you know, minus eight. It takes a little. It doesn't freeze that fast. That's why I was out last night at midnight doing their water. I think it was eleven fifty-five. When I was outside. I know one thing. It was really, really, really cold at eleven fifty-five last night. Like I went out and all I did was fill the buckets, ran to the bar, barn, and came back. Uh, to the goose shed, they come straight to the house, like as fast as that triangle could be done, and uh, my face was sore. That's uh, uh, that's how cold it is, and the storm's getting stronger. I can't believe this. I'm going to be locked up in the house till Wednesday, folks. Wednesday minus one though. Ducks get outside. It's going to be so much duck poop inside the barn, though. And I can't clean it when it's this cold. I can't even put the ducks outside to clean the barn because it's so cold. They can't even go outside for, you know, 15 minutes. Their poor little feet would freeze on the ground. They'd get frostbite in less than 15 minutes. I have cheese. I'm thinking what's going to happen here. I'm going to be doing some sliced cheese with no crackers. I'll just be slicing the stuff and eating it. I'm thinking that's what's gonna happen. The wind is blowing, man. I got I still gotta go do the water too. I still gotta go down to the barn. I gotta get dressed, go outside. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna check here. Hang on, folks. I'm just gonna take a quick check. I wanna see what's going on here in the barn. Is that, are the how are the ducks doing? How's their water doing? I'm, I'm doing a quick duck check here while I'm talking to you. Oh, they still got lots of water. Oh, eggs sit in the middle of the floor. Ducks are all sleeping right now, though. Their water situation's good. All right. 
I can relax. I don't need to rush down there. They're going to be going crazy. By Wednesday, folks, the level of craziness is going to be, is going to, well, I'm going to have to, what I'm going to have to do is the Ducks are going to have to have a shower on Wednesday too. Isn't it awesome? I can check, yeah. There's this YouTube channel that you can go to and uh, you can check on your Ducks. Vista? No. It's uh the it's the it's it's a pretty good channel for checking on my ducks anyways. I don't know if anybody else's ducks, but I can check on mine. No. The link's below the video. <laughs> Yes, Susie, the radar shows Montreal's getting hit hard with the snow. We're just getting the outside edges of it, which is still pretty hard. And I gotta, uh, I gotta plow my driveway after this finishes, which is gonna be like brutal, absolutely brutal. Uh, and I'm not doing it till the snow stops, which that means tomorrow, when it's 21 below out, and a wind chill of 30 below. I'm going to be expected to be on the tractor put, plowing the snow. Do you know how cold that is? I'm thinking it might not happen. You know, I think I might, uh, I might be uh, doing nothing until Wednesday as far as snow removal. Wait till it's minus one. Like I, I can't believe right now, folks. There is. Like, it feels like the fridge door is open behind me. The, the cold coming off the windows. The wind chill must be picking up outside. Snow's too dry for snowman. You can't be making a snowman with this uh, snow. I would love 31 degrees Fahrenheit. That would be sweet. I'm not getting that temperature until Wednesday. So. You know, folks... Inga, the level of sweetness, you're not going to be like, right now, my mouth is still doing the sweet overload from this stuff. Like, this is crazy sweet stuff. Ah, uh, that's why. It's, it's, the, it's the corn syrup. That's why it's sticking with me so much. I'm just looking at the 40% glucose fructose syrup. That's an awful lot of syrup. That's why my mouth is. The old glucose fructose uh, corn syrup stuff. That's serious sweet, man. Like. It's not honey. It's, it's, uh. It's unbelievable. Like, it's just, it's unbelievable how uh, um, sweet it is. That's why they're called stroop waffles. They're, they're sweet. I'm going to be eating these slow. Like, I'll eat them. Trust me. Well, I'm not about slow. What will probably happen, what will probably happen is I will be sitting on the couch and I will, uh, I will get into them, uh, watching a, some kind of program. And next thing you know, the bag will be empty and I'll regret it. That's what will happen. So, And then I'll have to drink, you know, two or three liters of water to uh, settle my stomach. That's what's going to happen. So, But I won't have any problems with the cheese. The cheese will be just fine. It will, uh, that will have no, well, I should say, I'm going to have to pace myself so I don't get bunged up, uh, because I could eat too much, and then I could have been a real problem, so. Crown corn syrup. When I was a kid, uh, we had corn syrup in the house. I've never had it in my house as an adult, but as a child, I remember, uh, a blue bottle. It might have been crown corn syrup. I remember my I'm trying to think the logo on the bottle it was when I was a child when we ran out of maple syrup that's when we used to get we used to get the corn syrup on the pancakes and it sucked sucked a lot but 
that was back in the 70s when things when the, you know the economic downturn and things were uh, childhood was a little bit tight on as far as streets were concerned in the house so we used it as a substitute for maple syrup same same our moms are very similar George Normally it's made from sugar beets. It doesn't say corn or beets on it, but you never know. You know, when it says the glucose fructose thing, it's like who knows what, you know, where they got it from. I just know one thing. It is awful. Oh, there's some palm oil too in it. I know one thing. It is sweet. My own mouth is sweeted right out right now. I think the only thing that would fix it is bacon. I could cook some bacon. I took it out and thawed it out. It's, it's, look at the dog. Eh? But I was like, come on. Is there more treats to be had here? <laughs> Doug. See? See, there's the dog treats. Dog treats. Dog. <laughs> oh, Doug. Oh, folks, I, I'm going to cook some bacon. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a big bacon cook. i got to go to the barn. got to do the barn. Get the, the, the uh, I'm going to go do egg recon. And, uh, uh, because the ducks will break eggs if I don't get them now. And, uh, oh, this, the dog. Please, give me a treat. You're talking on the camera. I, I know, this is the time I can get treats. Like, right now. Oh, claw me. Okay. Right. One more piece. One more piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. There you go. Okay, folks. I'm gonna I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna go do the duck eggs. I'm gonna go pick up some duck eggs. Do the dog water, duck water, and um, and I think I'm gonna cook my bacon up. I'm thinking some bacon and eggs are gonna help my mouth here because uh, these waffles, they're sweet. My God, I'm I can't. I can't believe this. Like I, I can eat a lot of sweet and bad, but these are really like the. And the thing is, you know what's the worst part is? I'm craving more. That's the problem, is that I, you know, my my mouth is still sweeted out, but I'd like to have another one. You know. And I know I shouldn't, but I could. I think I should save them, eh? I'm thinking I would. I think I should. So. With a lot of Tabasco. Oh, my Tabasco, my Chipotle Tabasco is really tasty on eggs. It actually, it's really tasty. Um, really, really tasty. Doug does tricks, yeah. He runs the show. He's got it all. He's got it down pat, too. No. And he's really good at listening. He's the best leader. He is. Doug has, you know what Doug's really good at? Being a rotten dog. He's got that down pat. Totally. No. Plus, he knows his job. That's one thing. He's good at his job. Doug does how he does. He, he, and, and he is, to a certain degree, lovable. But he's, the, he's good at his job. He takes his job really, really good. No. I will say, I, I'm impressed actually by his work ethic. So he's good that way. That's really the only, you know, endearing thing, other than that he, you know, I do, he does give me morning kisses. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye because the dog, if I don't change my, uh, my setting here in the kitchen pretty soon, um, he's gonna just keep driving me nuts because this is what he wants. He's looking at the treats. No, dog, you're rotten. All right, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you for the, uh, the box from Great Britain, the country that does not need their name on their stamp. Uh, I don't know who the person is, but I'm gonna, I'm into peanuts today and Ingus, Ingus, uh, these ones I'm really curious about because these are really high end nuts 
and uh, and there's smoke flavor, so it's going to be very interesting. I'm thinking this little package is not going to last long. I don't think it's going to last long at all. How many grams is it? How many grams? Does need to, how come there's no weight on this thing? We have to put weights on in, in uh, normal. 175 grams of nuts. That's a snack. It's 15 minutes. Um, anyway, I gotta say goodbye. Thank you for the cheese. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking I might go to town to get crackers. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'm thinking I might not though, because she's looking pretty bad outside. So I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, do the duck water and go get some duck eggs. Have a good day. And if you're somewhere